Welcome to my channel, Brainies. Today we are going to discuss about the topic Tardy Scale and Modified Tardy Scale. It is a scale which is used to measure spasticity in patients with neurological conditions. It usually takes into account the resistance to passive movement at various velocities, that is, at both fast and slow speed. The scale was initially proposed by Tardy et al. and hence the name. It, is, it was proposed in the year by Tardy et al. in the year 1954 and modified by Boyd and Graham in the year 1999 and reviewed by Ah and Pandian in the year 9, 2006. The patient has position in various positions. So in sitting position to assess the upper extremity and in supine position to assess the lower extremity. The purpose, the main purpose of this scale is to quantify the spasticity by assessing the muscle's response to different stretch velocities and by determining the spasticity angle. The main indications are as follows. Tardy scale can be applicable in the following neurological conditions. Stroke, spinal cord injury, multiple sclerosis, cerebral palsy, traumatic brain injury, pediatric hypotonia, and central nervous system lesions. Let us just see the technique of using the tardy scale. A normal, usual, standard goniometer can be utilized to measure R2 and R1. The patient should be in testing position according to the muscle which we are going to test it. The patient, as I told you before, the patient should be in uh, position accordingly. The patient should be in sitting position for assessment of the upper extremity and in supine position for assessment of lower extremity. The stretching velocity of V1 and V3 will be applied to measure R2 and R1 respectively. The quality of muscle reaction will be graded at the stretching velocity of V3 as well. The difference between R2 and R1, that will be the measurement of the dynamic component of the spasticity. That is, difference between R1 and R2. There are basically two measurements. One is the quality of muscle reaction and the other one is angle of muscle reaction. The various grades for quality of muscle reaction is as follows. Zero is no resistance throughout the entire passive movement range. Number one is slight resistance throughout with no clear catch at a precise angle. Number two will be clear catch at a precise angle which will be immediately followed by a release. Number three will be fatigable slowness, but not less than 10 seconds, which occurs at a precise angle. And number four is unfatigable slowness, which would be greater than 10 seconds, occurring at a precise angle. Number five, the joint will become immobile. So velocity to switch. There are three speed definitions, V1, V2, and V3. Velocity 1 will be as low as possible. Velocity V2 will be, speed of limb will be falling under gravity. V3 will be as fast as possible. The next is spasticity angle R1. It is the angle of catch which is seen at the velocity V2 or V3. R2 will be full range of motion which is achieved when the muscle is at rest and tested at V1 velocity. As I told you, the dynamic component of the muscle, the dynamic tone component of the muscle is observed by R1 minus R2. That's it with the tardy scale of spasticity. Catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Kindly support by subscribing and sharing. Thank you once again.